Hello everybody and welcome to Living Unique with myself Sharon Brown. I am coming in with the Animal of the Week. Um, we have um, the Animal of the Week this week is the Lion Still. He has, to, I think he's going to be around for the whole month of August. And um, also what's going on at the moment is um, with the energies is there's a lot of karmic patterns coming up in your life and it's time to release and let go of them. Um, so I have a lovely message from the line here and then I'll do a quick meditation and um, clear any blocks. I feel we need um, a full realignment so it's literally just going to go into the chakras. So the line, line is coming in um, this week and there, he's saying there's a lot of karmic pattern showing up in all areas of your life. And this is showing us, helping us to um, look and look within. These are coming up from past lives um, stuff that literally it's all patterns. Um, these are the blocks that are holding us back from really speaking our soul's truth. Um, and we need to go within and really um, remove these blocks. The line is telling me the gift is seeing the blocks and allowing yourself to go within to do the work to release and realign your soul's truth. Over the next few weeks, months, they will be coming up um, in all areas of your life. They'll come up. Um, so it's each layer, I'm being told, it's removing the layers. It's like the onion, peeling the onion. It's literally removing the layers. layers sorry. And um, the line is coming in with strength and courage for us to go within and really release them and do the work. Yes, I know it's hard. It's always hard. Um, the on, uh, being on your spiritual path is not easy. It just isn't. Um, we have a lot of ups. We have a lot of downs. But it's recognising when you need the help. That is the key to this. You might need help from myself. You might need help from another mentor. You might even just need help from a friend. So it's allowing and giving yourself the permission to seek the help that you need. Yes, it can be hard. Hi, Maria. It is hard. It's always hard. But once you ask and allow yourself to give yourself the permission to ask for help, whether it be me or somebody else. Um, and these are the blocks that are holding you back from fully, fully speaking your truth. So it's all about um, releasing, realigning and speaking your soul's truth. Um, and this is uh, these energies are around for the next while guys so it's literally um, we are all being tested at this time and it's literally either step up or step out that is the que that is the whole thing now it's step up step out we have so much so much in our wisdom in our guidance that we need to reawaken in ourselves and that's what we are all going through at the moment we're going through a reawakening and a transition and unless we follow the signs and unless we follow the nudges and unless we follow the stuff that we are meant to be following we are not going to get any further on our path because what's happening to us every single one of us is reawakening we have so much gifts within our body yeah clearing the throat the throat's huge marie it's absolutely huge at the moment. I'm after having a client there in my um, self and soul accelerator program. Huge stuff going on in our, tr our throat and um, our sacral chakra, which are huge, absolutely huge. And this is all about your divine feminine, your divine masculine. It's bringing the two into balance and literally going then into the throat and speaking your truth. So unless you remove the blocks, the karmic patterns that are constantly showing up in our lives, constantly, all the time, and you have the strength and the courage, call in the line. He will help you go within. Yeah, it isn't easy. But at the end of the day, what is easy in life? It's up to us um, to go, to literally go and grab life and allow ourselves and give ourselves, hi Inga, give ourselves the permission to do this. Because a lot of us don't actually give ourselves permission. They're always saying, oh, I don't know. 
I don't have the money to do this. I don't have the money to do that. Unless you give yourself to permission, invest in yourself. It's all about investing in yourself as well. And allowing yourself to do that in our work. You're not going to get any further. So that is the message from the lion. And that is the energy as far as I know is going to be like this for the next, I think, October, November. So literally it's go within, do the inner work and reawaken the magic reawaken your truth and reawaken your soul's truth that is within that just is it's waiting it's waiting for you all to reawaken it i have literally opened the doors last week of my um daring to be you program i ran this last year for 11 months and the transformation that one of the girls got out of this 11 month program was absolutely huge because she dared to be herself. She invested in herself and she dared to be herself and the changes and she is literally standing in her own power now. She's no blocks. She's absolutely flying. So are you ready to dare to be you or are you going to sit on the fence and are you going to look at everybody else doing it? Or are you going to allow yourself to be you? Because that's the question using it. A lot of people need to ask themselves at this moment in time is, are you ready to be you? Are you ready to reawaken? Are you ready to realign? And are you ready to speak your soul's truth? Because if you're not ready, there's no point in being on a spiritual journey. Because all you're going to do is just keep blocking yourselves you're going to go in and be on the hamster wheel and when you get on that ham hamster wheel it's very very hard to get off it you nearly have to be pushed off it something has to happen for you to literally look see what's going on in your life and really reassess so it's so that's what they are reassess realign reawaken to your soul's truth and my program daring to be you allows you and helps you do that it's run on a weekly basis for 11 months and it's very very powerful um so i am literally going to call in so if anyone would like um the doors are opened now um they have been open since last week if anyone would like to book a self-empowerment call i'll put it in the link in here but i'm going to actually bring in the line now and do a meditation and do um I feel it's just a, sh a chakra clearing. So take a deep breath in. Just calling all your energies back. All coming all the way back in. All the way back in and breathe out. Take another deep breath in. Just allowing these energies to settle. And breathe out. Take another deep breath in. And just acknowledge how you're feeling, not wanting to change anything and breathe out. Now I'm bring your awareness to your solar plex. And as you bring your awareness to your solar plex, you're going to visualize two big golden roots coming out of your solar plex into your sacral ch chakra, your hips, your legs, your feet, the floor you're standing on right down, down into your earth star chakra and right down into the center of mother earth. Feel your energy and mother earth's energy combining as one. Feel the move all the way up into your feet, your legs, your hips, your sacral chakra, your solar plex and into your heart centre. Doing a 360 degree around your heart centre. Now I'm bringing in pure love from source. Bringing in the male energy coming straight down into your soul star chakra. Down into the crown of your head, into your third eye, helping you to see see more clearly down into your ear chakras helping you to hear more clearly down into your throat chakra helping you to speak truth down into your heart center helping you to fully fully love yourself down into your solar plex helping you to fully accept who you are down into your sacral chakra allowing your gifts and talents and your creativity to flourish down into your root chakra to bring in the abundance of life. Down into your hips, your legs, your sacral chakra or 
your hips, your legs, your feet, the floor, right down into your earth star chakra, helping you to be more and more grounded and right down into the center of Mother Earth. Feel the energy moving all the way up into your earth star chakra, your legs, your hips, your sacral chakra, your solar plex, and into your heart center, doing a 360 degree around your heart center. Feel the energy of Mother Earth and Father Sky combining as one. And feel these energies move to every part of your body and every part of your being. Okay, so just feel these energies move. Now I have a lot, the lion is literally standing right behind you. Okay, you can just sense him and feel him. He's standing on your right shoulder. And he is bringing in the energy of permission. Permission. Allow. Allow, he's telling me. A lot of people are not allowing themselves to receive the gift, to receive the help that they need and the help they want to unblock. A lot of people are stuck in the vibration of lack. So literally, I'm seeing this um, pure white light coming straight down from source. And it's going straight down into your the crown of your head. And it's removing the energy of lack. Okay, so you can feel it literally. So it's literally just removing the energy of lack and restriction. I'm being told lack and restriction. It's beaming straight down into your third eye and it's doing exactly the same. Removing all the energies of lack and restriction. Down into your sh ear chakras. Lack and restriction. It's like <clears throat> it's like fear is winning all the time. We're allowing fear win, and we're allowing our ego take over. Down into our throat chakra. There's huge stuff going on in the throat chakra. My throat is literally throbbing. So there's a lot of stuff going on. This is about speaking your truth, speaking your soul's truth, and allowing. Yourself, giving yourself the permission to do this. This restriction, huge restriction being removed from your heart, from your, your throat. I can, I, what I can see is <coughs> there's like a cage and it's literally, the energy is literally prizing this cage open and open and open. And this is restriction. It's going all the way around your throat. It's at the back, you might feel a heavy energy at the back. It's literally been moved. It's been cancelled, clear, delete, destroy from all time and space, backwards and forwards to multi-dimensional. Clear, 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 clear. Literally clearing the throat. Fully, fully allowing you to speak your truth. It's clearing the throat of restriction. Now that energy is literally just dropped straight down into your heart centre. And this is removing restriction here as well. Restriction to love yourself. Restriction of putting yourself first. Restriction of literally stopping yourself from doing what you need to do. Do whatever makes your heart sing, no matter what it is in life. If you don't do that, you don't have anything. That's the message that's coming in here. Permission, giving yourself permission as well is a big thing. Restriction and permission. Down into your solar plex. And this is allowing you to fully, fully stand in your own power. It's removing that restriction around that and it's removing other people's permission. Allow, allowing yourself to fully, fully have your own power. I see a lot of cords going to other people in this. So I'm going to call in Archangel Michael to literally cut the power, cut any energetic cords of restriction between yourself and anybody else. You'll know exactly the faces are going to pop into your head now. So these energetic cords are being cut and they're being cancelled, clear, delete, destroy from all time and space, backwards and forwards to multi-dimensional to be cancelled, clear, delete, destroyed now. So literally these energetic cords are going through a divine filter and they're coming back in 
with pure love and light and they're going back to that person with pure love and light and that is restriction being given back to them so the energy of allowance is literally being ignited here now it's going into your sacral chakra and this is bringing in this is giving yourself permission to bring in the male and the female energies and allowing this to fully fully go into balance it's down into your root chakra and it's removing restriction lack poverty Cancer, clear, delete, the story from all time and space, backwards and forwards to multi-dimensional to all lifetimes. Clear, clear, clear. Literally just dropped and right down into your legs, your feet and right down into your earth star chakra. And it's bringing in the energy of balance here. It's literally fully, fully bringing in the balance and allowing yourself. Allowing yourself to be fully grounded and to come out of your head and into your heart to make the decisions that you need to make. Okay, so that energy is being sealed in there now and coming straight down from source is this. I can see diamond light, so it's a sparkly diamond light. And this is bringing in the energy of abundance abundance and permission and love so it's literally dropping right down into your soul star chakra into the crown of your head into your third eye into your ear chakras down into your throat you can feel it it's it's like liquid liquid literally just dripping all the way down into your heart 360 degree around your heart and it's making sure it's fully fully awakening down into your solar plex your sacral chakra your root chakra your hips your legs your feet and right down into your earth star chakra now it's moving through every part of your body and every part of your being and it's going right down into your 12 DNA strand and right down into your cellular memory. And it's reawakening, reawakening the energy of vib the vibrational energy of abundance and permission. A lot of people are don't give themselves permission to receive to love themselves, to accept themselves exactly as they are. So it's bringing in all that vibration. It's moving to every part of your body and every part of your being. It's going right down, down into your cellular memory and it's literally awakening. Reawakening, not awakening, reawakening. Realign and reawakening. Going Right out into every layer of your skin, right out into your auric field, into the room you're in, to your house, right out into the town, the country, the world, and right, right all the way out into the cosmos and right, right out into source. Okay. And it's coming all the way back in. And this is just letting the world know that you are vibrating at a different vibration now. And the abundance will come. All the way back in. Through the cosmos. Through the world. Through the city. Into your town. The room. Right into your auric field. And it's being sealed in at your soul star chakra. And your earth star chakra. And you're being left in this bubble. Of diamond light. Okay. And I want you to cross your hands over your knees. And fully, fully anchor in this energy. And let the energy literally. Seep to every part of your body. Just give yourself. Allow yourself that energy to. To just settle. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Um. 
as I've said, I don't know if some is hi Margaret, hi Rachel, hi Becky, um, hi Christine, hi Inga. Um, I am the doors of my Daring to Be You program are open. This is a, an 11 month program, or if you would like to work with me in my self and soul accelerator, book a self empowerment call with me, and let's see how. I can help you along your path and remove the blocks and restrictions that are holding you back from fully, fully speaking your truth. Have a magical Monday and I will talk to you all again during the week. Take care. Bye.